BFO Dynamics can integrate into data warehouse any external source, and we have not created 10, 20 connectors, but only one. How is this possible? We have created only one connector to Power BI Data Mart, and Power BI Data Mart supports more than 150 data sources. The good news that Power BI Data Mart is a feature in Power BI Premium per user, which costs only $20 per month. And another more good news is the in integration of external sources, most of the time is spent in getting data structured. And this is where you are going to use your familiar Power Query tool. This part, integrating Power BI Data Mart into BFO Dynamics is super simple. Chapter one, create and process Data Mart. In this Power BI workspace, we are going to create a data mart. The name is Sales from NAV 2009. We are going to get the sources from any of the databases, Power Platform, Azure, and online services. Our choice is SQL. We need to get the connection string and credentials to the SQL and choose the selected tables that we are going to source the data. Now the table name may be different that we want this to be in our data warehouse. So we rename this table with a friendly name. Further, we can do any transformation. That's the power of our BI Data Mart because it's publicly available documentation helps you understand everything, how to do the transformation. And most of the work is done in transformation here. Now the data mart has already opened the tables and we want to see these tables. Let's just connect to the data mart. This is a SQL endpoint. And you can see the data mart name is generic. There are no tables, but yes, we have the views that will show us the information that we are going to link into. Chapter two, load data to data warehouse. Now, this part is going to tell us uh, how to integrate the data into BFO Dynamics because the step one was getting into the data mart. Connection string, credentials, and the schema now. These four tables are already available as preview and uh, checking if everything is okay. Now it's the magic happen. Get metadata will give us the metadata information that will be used for schema creation. Now the next step will be, okay, see all the tables deployed. It means that schema is going to be created. The tables are already here. And the process is going to push the data from Data Mart into our data warehouse and voila, the data are here. Set up Data Mart and Data Warehouse refresh. Now we have to do the refresh. First, we want to refresh the data coming into a Data Mart daily at six o'clock and also how to integrate this pre-staging part uh, into our data warehouse daily routine. And we are going to use a command line, which is going to be embedded as a separate step, as a step that's going to happen before the uh, loading of data warehouse. You can see step number one is a data mart, and this is it. Chapter three. Add external tables to the model. Now we are doing the modeling. So we want to create a separate transactional table where the source is not a state schema, but another schema in our case. Now we take transactional table value entry and add the columns that we want to do. We just do the posting date and sales amount. We put a name that is the same as the general dimension and voila, an error. We have to use this column as a measure, so it will pop up in measured form. Uh, what we do, we put a friendly name, and we are already ready to create a schema for all the artifacts. Data Warehouse Analytics, we deploy and process with one click. Super powerful, super easy. Here it is. The transactional table is ready. We have to go and select the column and bring it to Excel data are here. What we need to do is to join this old and new data. So we are going to add a DAX expression, which will take the 
dynamics data from FNO and dynamics data from BC. This is a simple dark expression that just takes a few seconds to update. And here it is, the total value of all. This is the way how we integrated all the new data.